answers and all of that. If that's okay. Right, right. So welcome to all students and professionals who are joining us today. Uh, this is part of our mentorship series. We've had few of them earlier and we are very, very fortunate today to have uh, Mr. Nathan joining us. Uh, brief introduction, uh, we will start off, uh, but very quickly, Mr. Nathan is a seasoned executive and we are really, really happy. I'm so happy and pleased that he's able to join us. He's a very, very humble person, uh, speaks very simple language, but he is one of the professionals and a role model for all of you. Okay, so please, you know, it's, it, it, you know, professionals have really, really busy schedules. He's been very gracious enough to give us time and speak from his heart to guide you and mentor you. And I think we should make the most of this opportunity. He's a partner and a head of the HR uh, division at Deloitte. And he's been there for many years, I think close to about 14, 15 years. Formal background and uh, uh, introduction we will carry on. But at this stage, I welcome uh, Mr. Nathan. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, what we would like to do is uh, go through your personal journey if possible. And during that course, yes, there are many areas where we have students and young professionals from various parts of the country, from very small towns, Hindi speaking. Uh, some of them are from Bihar. Some of them are from Jharkhand. But all of them have very deep desire to excel. And they have a very deep burning desire. I've been interacting with maybe 2,000 students in the last two, three months time. So they all want to learn from the best. And, but unfortunately, many of them have not had the opportunity. Maybe the institutions did not have the, have the uh, kind of infrastructure to have guest speakers and lecturers. Maybe their parents were not very well educated or could give them those kind of groomings where at least I will say I've been privileged where I've got everything on the platter. But there are many of us who have not had, I would say, privileged backgrounds. So I would like you to give them your, um, uh, your background, how you have climbed the corporate ladder. Being a good, honest person doing so well in a corporate world is not easy. So if you can show them the right way. And, uh, you know, there are so many wrong ways of doing things. So let us look at the role model as to how to succeed the right way and, uh, and, and just guide students as to what and how they should plan their career. Uh, especially some of them are demotivated because of the COVID situations. Jobs are not easy to come by. Even internships, many of them are struggling right now. So what they should do so that they could uh, have a better career in future. Okay, um, Deepak, thank you so much. I think what you're trying to do as the Secretary of the Society of Legal Reforms and Education is really stellar. The, uh, on, on one hand, you have a very successful person who has had a very rich background, worked across several countries, um, currently, working at the highest authority of law in the country, the Supreme Court, and you have such a person spending so much of his time, not interested in himself, but is interested in the uplift of people that are closely working around, and regardless of whether they know him or not, if there is somebody as selfless as that, and if that person says, can you come and spend some time? For me, it's just a matter of half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour perhaps. But for Deepak, it's his life's mission. And I really laud you for that. I no, really no. believe that thank, people Thank like you, you so much. It's people like you who are giving me the confidence. We didn't know each other. We had no background and you, you've come on board to help us out. So I think that is so nice. And uh, <laughs> Thank you so thank much, you Deepak. So much. I, I really want to thank you. Sincerely, I want to thank you for what you do because that makes a difference to the world. So um, let me ask this question before. So people who are on the call, people who are around, uh, question to all of you. You can either uh, 
use your your reaction you can do raise your hand you do something how many of you <laughs> want to listen to stories very good okay okay yeah. very nice very nice so i will not bore you with any lecture there are no ppts uh ppts ko dekh dekh ke kai log mar gaye hain so let me not go the ppt way i will just tell you in my very simple ways so i want to tell you a story of a old grandmother this grandmother had only one leg and she used to be living in one small room along with her sons and she had grandchildren and um, that's all the room that she had the room even did not have a door and for privacy she had, she had a parda and the parda was made of aap uh, gunny bags jante hai na gunny bags jute ki so usko kaat ke she used to make that into a curtain so that was her life and in the evening every day she used to spend a lot of time in her drawing room what is a drawing room the pavement the pavement of the road was a drawing room so she used to spend time there she had a small bowl of rice and she used to tell a lot of stories and a lot of children used to come and listen to her and when they were listening she used to take a little bit of rice and uh, whether this is poha this or she make something or the other and start giving it to the children while reciting the stories one day it so happened that when she was saying something somebody who was listening to her happened to turn away and did not look at her and she became very upset and angry and then she looked at the child and slapped the child ki beta main tere se baat kar rahi hu and what what are you looking at and wo ladka kehta hai um dadi ma main aapko kya bataun wahan pe ek gaadi chal rahi thi says kya matlab hai gaadi se she said wo dadi ma kabhi कार में बैठ सकते हैं हम और ये दादी माँ कहती है ऑफ कोर्स बेटा अगर बैठना हो तो सामने जा बैठो अगर पीछे बैठना हो तो ये गाड़ी तुम्हारी होनी चाहिए और ये ड्राइवर को तुम पैसे दोगे ये लड़का थोड़ा सा चमक गया और और देखने लगा और दादी माँ से पूछा कि दादी माँ ये कभी हो सकता है ये कभी बन सकता है दादी माँ उसे कहती है हाँ है क्यों नहीं बशर बशर देगी तुम थोड़ा सा प्रयास करो स्टडी अ लिटिल बिट मोर ज्यादा कुछ नहीं थोड़ा सा दम लगाओ बस एवरी डे दट्स द स्टोरी एवरी डे वेन आई सिट इन माई कार एंड वेन आई रिमेंबर वॉट दैट लेडी यूज टू मीन टू मी आई रिमेंबर दैट लेडी बिकॉज that lady was a phenomenal lady why is she so important because the lady who told all those stories was my dadi ma the person who got distracted is speaking to you my god and at that time i was studying in a corporation school jahan pe baithne ke liye koi seat wagera hota nahi hai ना कोई स्टूल है ना टेबल है बेंच है कुछ नहीं बैठना है तो जमीन में बैठो एंड अदर थिंग व्हाट हैपेंस इज जमीन में बैठ बैठ के होता क्या है थोड़ा सा जो जो पैंट है इट विल स्टार्ट टू फ्रे दादी माँ ऑन अ संडे सैटरडे शी विल स्टार्ट टू डान इट आजकल कोई डान नहीं करता है सो इन दोज डेज शी इज टू डान इट and she used to tell me go to the public library and wahan pe angrezi padho angrezi kahe ka i never used to really know english there is no english i knew the only language that i knew was tamil i had no idea and the english was always an alien language mujhe pata bhi nahi tha ki angrez log kya bol rahe and my dad ma used to say sham ko wahan pe ek park tha एंड वो पार्क में जाके वहां पे बहुत सारे ये लगे लगे रहते थे ये क्या बोलते हैं उसको लाउड स्पीकर लाउड स्पीकर में न्यूज आया करता था 
उसको जाके सुन के आओ आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर द न्यूज रेड बाय रोथिको रत्न दैट्स द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन एवरी इवनिंग बिल्कुल समझ में नहीं आया बट जाके उनको बताना है कि आज हमने सुना क्या है और न्यूज क्या है बट हाउ डू आई डू ऑल दैट इट्स अ बर्निंग डिजायर इट्स अ ड्रीम एंड टुडे व्हेन आई सिट इन माय कार आई रिमेम्बर द लेडी हु गेव मी दैट लिटिल बिट ऑफ पुश एंड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस कि हां बेटा तू कर सकता है ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज वर्क अ लिटिल हार्ड दैट्स ऑल ओके दिस इज अमेजिंग दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली अमेजिंग आई माय सेल्फ हैड नो आईडिया नथन दैट व्हाट nothing what you have gone through personally that this is your story and uh, i'm sure itna aasan nahi hua hoga journeys mein bade struggling speed breakers aaye honge i'm sure not english nahi aati aapko aap chennai se hain aur aap aaj sabse bade biggest american corporation mein as a partner you are there where you have reached the heights of professional careers it is not about me sir uh deepak ji it is not about me it is about right. my dadi ma because uh she gave me confidence ki beta ye ho sakta hai right tumko abhi bhi yaad hai so in a school the corporation school the teacher used to write with a chalk at the end of that she used to take the chalk piece and throw it into the corner and un dino mein koi notebook wagera nahi tha slate tha right i used to run and collect that little piece of chalk because normal chalk will cost mm-hmm. itna bada chalk will cost थ्री पैसे एंड मैं किस मुंह से जाके दादी माँ से मैं मांगू कि मुझे तीन पैसे दे दीजिए आप डे वी डोंट इवन हैव थ्री पैसे कॉइन आई विल मूव ऑन अनदर वेरी बिग थिंग दैट हैपेंड इन माय लाइफ वाज वाज थोड़ा आगे आई देन वेंट टू कैलकटा देन आई स्पेंड टाइम इन कैलकटा देन आई केम बैक टू मद्रास वेन आई केम बैक टू मद्रास I remember I wanted to be an athlete. कभी कभी होता है चस्का लग जाता है कि मुझे ये बनना है वो करना है ये वगैरह तो मुझे बनना था I wanted to be an athlete. And uh, so I went up to my mother and I said, आज मैं मैं public ground जा रहा हूँ corporation ground. So बेटा क्या करना है दौड़ में. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to be an athlete. ठीक है. My mother did not give any uh, shoes and all that. No Nike shoes, Adidas shoes and all that. कुछ नहीं. जाना है जाओ. So chappal pen ke ham chale gaye. Went to the ground and I went and met one old man who was a self-appointed coach. मैंने उनसे कहा कि सर आप मुझे कोच करेंगे. सर हाँ. को करना क्या? मुझे sprinter sprinter बनना है. ठीक है? दर का मुझे दौड़ के दिखाइए. So then I started to run. and i ran so hard at the end of the day at the end of 100 meters when i came back to him and i asked him can i be a sprinter wo dekh ke bataye ki beta tere se running hoga nahi tu ja ghar so uh i went home i was weeping my mother saw me amma mujhse puchi kya bada kya hua to ye keh rahe ki मैं एथलीट कभी बन ही नहीं सकता हूँ बोले ठीक है आपने क्या सवाल किया उनसे कि मैं स्प्रिंटर बनना चाहता हूँ सर ना दैट इज अ रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन जाके पूछो उनसे व्हाट आर यू गुड एट व्हाट आर यू गुड एट किस चीज में तुम माहिर हो सकते हो बस अच्छा तो उनसे मुझे ये स्प्रिंटर बनना है मिडिल डिस्टेंस बनना है वगैरह वगैरह जाके उनसे पूछो ना so next day i went i went straight to that man and fir se aa gaya ha then i told him ki ha bataiye sprinter to main maine ban sakta hu but tell me what what can i really do bole theek hai beta daud ke dikhao so in those days it used to be a 400 meter track i started to run 1 2 3 and then i didn't realize i had already run about 10 or 15 rounds bole ki ha idhar aa said you can become a long distance runner you can really become a long distance runner i will make you the best athlete so then i was very happy my ghar gaya i met my mother and i said amma he told me that i can be a very good athlete long distance not short distance 
So the lesson is really in that. Uh, fast forward, I became an athlete. I represented my college. Whatever, usko chodiye. But I remember that day. All of us cannot be experts in any one area. You need somebody who can tell you what is your strength. What can you be really good at? ये शायद आपको भी पता नहीं है. So आप लोगों को याद होगा. We have Hanuman ji. Hanuman ji wanted to go across to Lanka. Then he didn't know how to do it because he was only a monkey. Then at that time there was a king of bears, Jambavan. आप को याद होगा? Jambavan. Right. So Jambavan went up to him and said, uh, "Hanuman, आप ऐसे हो, वैसे हो, ये जैसे जैसे ये अर्चना करते गए." ऐसे तैसे उनकी शरीर बढ़ने लगी एंड एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम ही वॉक्ट अक्रॉस टू लंका आई डिड नॉट इवन जंप दैट इज द स्टोरी ऑफ हनुमान एवरी पर्सन नीड्स अ जाम्बवान सो यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट अ गुड पर्सन हु कैन बी योर कोच जो आपको पॉजिटिव मैसेजेस दे सकते दे सकते हैं और और उनसे आप बहुत कुछ सीख सकते हैं कि आप में स्ट्रेंग्स क्या है नॉट आपकी खामिया खामिया तो हर कोई बता सकता है जो भी काम हम लेते हैं हर कोई कहता है ये ठीक नहीं है वो ठीक नहीं है आप ये बताओ कोई ऐसा है जो जो आपके काम में ये बताएं कि हाँ ये सब कुछ ठीक है कोई नहीं कहता नो बडी कम्स एंड टेल्स यू डन ऑफ स्टैंडिंग जॉब वी ऑलवेज फाइंड फॉल्ट फॉल्ट फाइंडिंग के लिए बहुत सारे लोग हैं so the best one is when you know that there is somebody who can help you so you all need a good coach i moved in my life i forget what i did in my life that's not important but i want to talk about a young boy and um ek din aisa hua i had i was a i was a general manager i had gone to one of the sites and this was in kodaikanal kodaikanal is a is a very nice resort place in south india and uh, we had a very nice resort and i was in charge of the resort for the country and so on i had gone there to just on a visit so when i went there on a visit one of the things that i noticed about that place was uh, they had a lot of guests rooms to bahut sare book ho gaye the that evening there was one guy who had had a little bit of alcohol too much and he drove his car into the lake and uh, then he came to the front desk or rone laga ki meri gaadi wahan pe atak gayi ab to ye to doob da doob doob na doob nahi hai to saab aap kuch kijiye front desk mein jo aadmi tha wo kar kya sakta sir nahi saab hum kuch nahi kar sakte us samay koi ladka aa raha tha wahan pe he is from the gym he was the gym master and it was around 11:30 or so and uh, he met the client and he said क्या प्रॉब्लम है सर ले मेरी गाड़ी यहाँ पे अटक है सर आप चिंता बेफिक्र रहिए आप चले जाइए खाली आपकी गाड़ी की चाबी दे दीजिए चाड़ी ले ले ली उन्होंने देन ही ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर थ्री फोर पीपल ही वेंट ऑल द वे टू द रिवर और वहाँ से गाड़ी निकाले देन टुक इट टू द गराज वहाँ पे पूरा क्लीनिंग हुआ इंजन का ऑल ऑयल दिस चेंज दैट चेंज एवरी थिंग डन नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग अलॉन्ग विद द बिल एंड द चावी and one morning cup of coffee uh knocked on the door of the customer and said ye rahi aapki gaadi ki chabi sab sahi salamat hai aap drive kar sakte and um, that's the story sham ko mujhe yaad aaya ki ha ye aisa kuch hua hai raat ko so i should do something for that boy maine sabko resort mein sab logon ko maine bulaya and uh, i gave him a very very nice note and i also gave him some money on behalf of the company and i said beta ye this is a reward for you um that boy looked at me he said sir ye thoda bahut reward le lenge i will take this but all i want is i don't want to be a gym master in my life and all this he said only in in tamil he didn't know enough english he didn't know english and then maine kaha theek hai tu chahta kya hai said सर आई वॉन्ट टू कम एंड वर्क विद यू आई वॉन्ट टू बी इन ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस मैंने कहा तू पढ़ा लिखा है बोला नहीं सर 
मगर लगता है कि हम कुछ बन सकते हैं मैं कहा ठीक है आई विल टेक यू सो देन फास्ट फॉरवर्ड आफ्टर ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स आई गॉट अ कॉल विच इज जस्ट लाइक अबाउट टेन फिफ्टीन डेज बैक फ्रॉम वन फ्रॉम वन जेंटलमैन विद वेरी वेरी सीनियर जेंटलमैन वेरी वेरी सीनियर मैन एंड ही वॉज द सी एच आर ओ और द चीफ ऑफ एच आर ऑफ दिस वेरी लार्ज रिटेल कंपनी कॉल स्टॉपर शॉप आप लोग सुने होंगे ना रहीजा की वेरी वेरी लार्ज कंपनी and he said uh, sir uh, i am uh, i'm venkatesh and uh, i just called to speak to you and just wanted to check how you are in these covid times and all that and i got sab kuch theek chal raha hai and then at the end of the call he said thank you very much sir i said why are you thanking me he said nay nice, sir uh, you know why i am thanking and he just kept the phone down then i pissed both the thank you and then what happened 14 years ago because the gym master who on that day removed that gadi was the person on the phone as the head of hr or shop staff wow he's the vice president and wow. of human resources wow. working in shop staff his name is s venkatesh he lives in bombay at that time he didn't know a word of hindi uh today also i'm not sure whether he knows enough english or whether he knows enough hindi right But he is a very very big man um closer home i'll tell you one more story closer home ek bar aisa hua almost 15 years ago i wanted a secretary that secretary i wanted only one thing with that secretary i wanted the secretary to know typing and shorthand and uh, i'm sure neeraj you would not have heard of something called shorthand correct <laughs> none of the youngsters asking, would know <laughs> but nobody will know what is shorthand because today all you need is you just need you need something like this you speak into it it will auto type all that yeah those days we had shorthand and um, i wanted a person who knew shorthand when i say something he will take notes come back to me and then i will send it from my desk and all that But anyways i met a number of people i met finally i met um, i was told that sir wahan pe ek ladka hai magar zara gidda sa hai he is a short short man aapko pasand nahi aaye aur angrezi bhi zyada bol nahi sakta maine kaha theek hai main usi se milna chahta hu bula usse i met him i had a long chat with him maine kaha tu kya kar raha hai bole 25 saal se main kaam kar raha hu sir i'm in so and so place so and so place and then i i asked him ki uh, what was your percentage in your bsc physics he said um, sir i was an average student but i i passed in first class i actually was a distinction holder i, I got um, about 81% <laughs> It, why this hesitance बोले नहीं सर ये आप फिर सवाल करेंगे इतना बड़ा मार्क पा के तुमने ये स्टेनोग्राफर क्यों बना मैंने कहा हाँ वही मेरा सवाल था बोले कि घर की नौबत ऐसी थी तो मुझे ये करना पड़ा मैंने कहा ठीक है कोई बात नहीं चलो आई टुक दैट बॉय विथ वन कंडीशन मैंने कहा आफ्टर एटीन मंथ्स आई विल सैक यू फ्रॉम दिस जॉब यू विल डू समथिंग एल्स बोले ठीक है फास्ट फॉरवर्ड टेन ईयर्स लेटर दिस जेंटलमैन के मैन told me that he is resigning from the company and i said okay as long as you get something good he showed me his letter the letter said dear mr so and so we are pleased to appoint you as general manager human resources and that was from a very large multinational chota mota nahi very large multinational currently he is a director in another large multinational he recently joined them and um i'm very very proud of nagraj why am i so happy with him because um after that i had another three more secretaries but nobody could measure up to nagraj because he wanted to win he wanted to do something with his life so so there are people like that there are people all you need is and by the way 
it was not like he knew good english he had all the education in the world no but he had something that others didn't have he wanted to succeed so that was that was nagraj um i will i will talk about hey, by the way i just want a check a, a check from all of you this is just to check i i hope i'm not boring boring all of you to death with all these stories so no this is really really interesting actually better than any of these ppts which many of our <laughs> you know panelists sometimes <laughs> show us this is this is true from the heart and uh, i think uh, really really inspirational for all for these are real time uh, real stories because you can meet these people you can speak to them and before i i spoke to you i have taken permission from them to speak about uh, about them on a call so these are all things who these are all real people you can you can speak to these people because they are they are the kind of people who are more inspiring than many that i've seen in my life they're very very fine people i will um, i will then move on to something about career because if you will note that the general thing has been about careers this is all about careers how do you really move a career how do you do something about a career so there was once a uh, a young boy who was not promoted for 8 years 8 years can you believe for 8 years this boy was not promoted he came into the organization ek saal ke baad usko confirm kar dete bas uske baad koi promotion kuch nahi 8 saal baitha raha ek bar aisa usko laga ki chalo mere sathi log to bahut aage badh gaye so chaliye main ja ke apne boss se main pooch ke aaun ki sir mera kuch yahan pe kuch ho sakta hai nahi to main chala jata hu when he went up to the boss and um, it was a day of lori sab khushi mara mana rahe the wahan pe fir boss ke paas gaya wo bola ki uh, boss aaj karni hai aapse 8 saal ho gaye magar mera koi promotion wagera kuch nahi hua so please tell me something kuch to bataiye bola ki beta jao ash ash karo kuch mat karo you are be you are on the right track bas अपना काम करते रहो यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग तुमको कुछ नहीं करना है डोंट वरी टू मच अबाउट व्हाट व्हाट लाइफ हैज इन स्टोर फॉर जा अपना काम कर नथिंग हैपेंड अबाउट टू डेज लेटर द बॉय वाज कॉल्ड एंड ही वाज गिवन अ अ लेटर एंड द लेटर वाज टू टेल हिम दैट ही हैज बीन डबल प्रमोटेड एंड ही वाज द यंगेस्ट मैनेजर इन द एंटायर कंट्री why in the country in the entire i mean in the entire group of companies in the world in a multinational he was the youngest then with tears in his eyes he went up to his boss and uh, he did one sashtang namaskar bole ki sir aapne bahut kuch kar diya to bole ki nahi beta it's all it's all the story of the bamboo so then this boy was waiting ki ye ये बैंबू की क्या कहानी है बोले बैंबू टेक्स एटलीस्ट फाइव इयर्स टू ग्रो वेन यू प्लांट अ बैंबू इट टेक्स फाइव इयर्स टू एट इयर्स टू ग्रो तब तक उनकी जो रूट्स हैं वो बढ़ती जाती है एंड एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम दे विल बी अ शूट एंड देन इट विल स्टार्ट टू रियली ग्रो वेरी वेरी फास्ट सो दैट इज द that is what happens to a bamboo so in all these 8 years all that happened to you was tumhara jo roots hai wo majboot hota gaya bas that's all that happened and we focus only on bringing you the best of nourishment to make this roots strong i know this as if this happened yesterday because that boy who got double promoted is speaking to you <laughs> so i was the guy also. i didn't get promoted for 8 years so and so many people then may have just given up and in the 7th year would have just said this is completely not recognizing my talent i am quitting i'll leave exactly 
So, my God. <laughs> but you, you, you need to be, you need to be positive about it. You need to have an honest conversation. यहाँ पे कुछ हो सकता है या नहीं? And what is it that I need to be doing? मुझे करना क्या है? Then there will be a sort of a dialogue. Otherwise, wow. you know, it will always end up as, हाँ तुमको ये करना चाहिए था तुमने ये नहीं किया and people will find faults instead of finding what is correct about you so that is uh, those are the kinds of things that i that i think are are important um if you really want to if you really want to grow in your life it is important to also speak up jaise maine aapko kaha it is it's important to um to find a good mentor it's important to ask the right question what am i good at ab meri jo khamiya hai khamiyaya hai usko mat bataiye tell me what am i good at three um find something that that i can really focus on and work on it four can i be looking at uh if i'm given an opportunity can i make the most of that opportunity take a look at nagraj nagraj was a person usko dekh ke koi naukri nahi dega because he he was not a he was not a flamboyant man but he had something in him that was different so you really need when somebody gives you an opportunity make the best use of that opportunity and um, last have faith in yourself there is always roots that you are building out which will get you to be a better professional believe in that and check with your with your people who work around you i'll tell you one last story and then i'll open it up for questions so um i got a uh very many many years ago i was new in a company very new in an organization almost like um but 20 years ago i was working in a large organization and um it was later than around 10 o'clock and at 10 o'clock when i went out of my room i found in the far corner of the corridor ek wahan pe light tha and ek ladka wahan pe ga raha tha and he was singing gun kuch gun gura raha tha and as i went towards him uh, i noticed ki ek hi ladka tha wahan pe and he was doing printing you not doing any big work you just doing printing and um uh deepak ji aapko yaad hoga in the good old days we used to have pay slips which were in triplicate hai <laughs> na so one is the original then there's a carbon copy duplicate uske niche carbon triplicate and ye ladka wahan pe usko bana raha tha so then i asked him what are you doing he said sir payro i said uh, it's not a big job i see kaun si badi baat hai isme nahi sir aap nahi jante hain ye payroll mein kisi ke salary mein ek shunya zyada badhaiye bada khush ho jata hai aur ek shunya kar lijiye aur dekhiye masti and he seemed so happy with it i got here i would uh, i would leave you to your job kal subah aake zarur mil lena mujhse so then i went away next day morning 10 o'clock he came to my office then i asked him ki uh, naam kya hai he told me some name then i asked him what have you done he said bcom bcom ke baad kahan se then he told me the name of a college uh people who don't get admissions in any college will go to that college so he came from that kind of a college i said hey mai samajh gaya wahan pe kya course kiya bole history yani ki jisko economics nahi mila maths nahi mila wagera 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 he will get history so i said okay history uske baad kya mba kiya acha mba kahan se he told me vgp school of management i said aisa koi school hai nahi so he said सर एक साल के बाद उसको बंद कर दिया तो आई सेड सो व्हाट हैपेंड ही सेड वो स्कूल खत्म हो गया सर कुछ सीखा ही सेड थोड़ा बहुत 
plus that's all. And so I was looking at a man who was an utter failure. He came from the worst of schools. He didn't have a MBA degree to his name. Kuch nahi tha usme. And but he had attitude. He had attitude more than anybody else. Positive attitude. At that time, there was a telephone call. I picked up the phone. There was a gentleman called Sanjay Bhaduri. So Sanjay called me and Sanjay said, "Hey, Nathan, for the West Zone, I need a." Regional manager, human resources. I said, "Okay, okay. I got the right man for you, but there is a problem. You will have to take care of him. If you don't take care of him, he will run away from you." He said, "No problem, sir. I will, I will manage. I will take care of you." I said, "Okay." So then I uh, kept the phone down, looked up at this gentleman, and said, "You are now the regional manager." He said, "No, sir. You are not understanding. I am a, I am a payroll clerk. Clerk ke baad." आता है सीनियर एनालिस्ट उसके बाद असिस्टेंट मैनेजर डिप्यूटी मैनेजर उसके बाद मैनेजर चिंता न कर जा सो देन गेट तक आई मीन डोर तक गया मैंने कहा उससे क्या कुछ डू यू नो हिंदी थोड़ा थोड़ा सो देन आई सेट बॉम्बे में कैसा क्या करेगा सर नो नो प्रॉब्लम सर एनी वे यू वेंट टू बॉम्बे एंड अगेन फास्ट फॉरवर्ड सेट इयर्स लेटर i got a call from a gentleman who said i have again to go to miami miami is a beautiful beach resort he has to go to and uh, this is not the times of covid but uh, so i said i'll again have to go to miami i said ja kya no problem kya he said my company is sending me i said bahut badhiya and what do they send you for bolegi they send the top almost like 0.1% people who are the best achievers in the entire world they send those people to that place what do they do one week have fun and then come back and um, so i said so what is the problem so he said the problem is like this sir i'm going for the third year in succession and i'm tired i don't want to go to miami let them find some other place in the world aur koi jagah nahi mili then i said okay forget it man and <laughs> fast forward um today i look at that conversation and then i look at that conversation in my room of that payroll clerk the two people are the same maida reddy was director of human resources of hewlett packard wow and i will never forget him because he made a big difference both both to himself and to people around there are many stories abound but i'll remember these stories because they talk about people who don't look at what they don't have one guy does not have an education one guy does not come from the best of schools one guy doesn't know enough english to save his school so there are people um, who say all i know is i know how to be a bodybuilder but i know what i want and there are people who are searching for questions and there is one old dadima who tells people and gives them the confidence habida you can do it so these are a few of my stories i want to just stop here and uh, turn it over to all of you to ask if you have any questions and so it is over to you deepak ji so we will take some questions Manik, sure sure but amazing amazing i think this is the best session i have had i have been part of over 150 seminars and conferences on but this is i am speaking from my heart also this is the best telling i have never heard such and these are not stories but these are true stories and true. coming from you absolutely i think iska big sabse zyada take away yahi hai ki ye sachi hai asal mein log hai aur yeah, aapke yeah. zuban se sun rahe so bahut hi this is really really inspiring what we will do is we'll open up mics for uh, yashvi and then subha then neeraj uh, and then anish and on behalf of they will ask questions apni taraf se plus a lot of people are also asking and hundreds of people are there online on youtube also so yes sure. we hum aapse shuru karte hain uh, please ask your question sure sir first of all i like to thank sir for such mesmerizing stories i mean it was not just mesmerizing it was very inspiring as well 
so my question is that uh, you the stories that you shared were were very inspiring they, they were very optimistic right so and it uh, talked a lot about good attitude so i wanted to ask you as students what are these small habits or small practices that we can build uh, in our daily life to improve uh, or to maintain a good attitude or to build a good attitude so are there any small practices or things we can practice in our daily life surely surely a very very simple ones you see um yashvi first of all that's a great question um how many of us want to succeed all of us want to succeed isn't it <laughs> all of us want to be happy that we are making progress so it all starts with putting out small goals very small goals for instance if you say that i want to pick anything i want to walk 500 meters today yani ki half a kilometer i don't want to run i don't want to do anything make sure that on that particular day you walk for half a kilometer that's all that you have to do but do it or you say that i want to write a letter to my friend and even if it is four lines write it and when you go to bed write a small note to yourself to say ha huh, these are all the things i said i will do i have done 1 2 3 4 5 don't make too big a list chota sa list banaiye and every day because then the mind is getting tricked you're tricking your mind to say okay i am what i am i'm progressing i'm making so that 500 meters can become 600 meters and you can do several things you may have heard of people who have lost a lot of weight or they may have done few things in their life they don't start big they start in a very small way so the small thing that you can do i didn't know english and the only way i could do that is to start small learn two words and um, there is a readers digest readers digest will have 20 words with meanings and it's like a quiz i wanted to learn that and you can increase your vocabulary go find out what are those words what do they mean how can you put them in sentences but these are small things you need to do that regularly form a habit excellent excellent this is uh, really really great yashvi is that all do you have anything else no that's all okay. I, because okay. i would rather get to more questions sure, than sure, long sure. answers sure next question please uh, yes sir yeah, good evening sir uh, first of all thank you for this uh, amazing uh, for your amazing stories they are re real life stories and uh, they are really insightful so uh, i just had one question that uh, in corporate sectors uh, so I, i'm a law student i'm looking forward uh, to be in corporate law so uh, sir in corporate sector uh, do like if there are two candidates and one is more specialized in a particular field and the other one is more gen like uh gen the other one is generally like he has an idea or, or generalized in many fields in more than one field right so who do they prefer they prefer a person who is specialized in a particular field and is the master of it or uh, they prefer a person who has uh, generalized in you know more than one field okay yes. so have you heard of a gentleman called elon musk yes sir definitely okay. yes so elon musk is one of the greatest uh, entrepreneurs that the world has ever found he mastered maths he mastered physics he mastered software he mastered rockets he ma and if you look at what he has he's a he's a master of many things elon musk uh, he has a favorite word he calls it the uh, the super generalist so i will just uh, let me try to decode that for you so shubha what you need to do is you need to be like the t so watch what i am saying you have the t like this and then you have the pillar right you write t like this na so the one on top will be the general all the general subjects that you know but you need one which is like the pillar of the t you must choose your area of specialization and let us assume that it is going to be corporate law in corporate law you must be really good but 
On top of that T, if you did not know, let's say company law or let's say labor law, if you did not know labor law in an organization, ultimately when they hire you and there is a question that comes your way, you should be in a position to at least be knowledgeable. Organizations, we don't go and say, because when we take on young students, and I'm not, take, I'm not looking only at law, I'm not expecting people to be an expert. I look for people who have the initiative, who have energy, who want to do things, their eyes are, are bustling with ideas. They, they, so I'm really looking for enthusiastic people who are good in any one subject. How do I find that out? So for that, I'll tell you a story. So I wanted to hire my replacement in an organization. And my boss interviewed a number of people. He rejected every one of them. Finally, I said, this is the last. He said, So I went and brought that gentleman. He came from a very, very good institution and very, very like national law school kind of stuff. Very, very, very And then my boss went and interviewed him. I asked him permission to stay in that room. So I was in the room. Boss asked a lot of questions. And then he said, okay, what is your hobby? The boy said, um, the, the candidate said, my hobby is photography. So the next question was, what is the uh, correlation between the aperture of a camera and the focal length? So um, this boy floundered. And then finally, he said, Sir, I don't know. He said, okay, how many cameras do you know of? So I know of Minolta, I know of uh, Nikon, I know of Yashika, but he didn't. He says, tell me the best one that you can think of. At that time, even if he had said something like a Hasselblad or something, somebody would say, yes, that's a great one. He didn't know enough. Then he, my boss asked him a question, what do you use? What do you use? He said, I use an aim and shoot camera of Kodak. The... Uh, interview was over. He was sent away. My boss looked at him and uh, looked at me and said, uh, now do you understand? He gave me a lesson. So even if you are talking about your hobby, you must be a master of your hobby. You must know enough about it. If you say, I'm, I watch movies, the next question, what movies do you watch? What's your favorite movie? What do you like in the movie? Who was and you should be able to talk about that. So companies look for people with a lot of details. So they are not the very gentle ones. I mean, in anything that you say, this is what I love doing, you must be good in that. Back to you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of questions about interviews. Are I can see that they will be coming up soon. <laughs> yeah. Neeraj, you ask? We do have some questions from the chat. So one is, how do we choose our coach or mentor? And how do you choose your course? And what will you know what you would really want? Um, okay. So I will turn to uh, one example. I'll turn to my example because it's an easy one. I can relate to it. I wanted to be an engineer. And after uh, being an engineer, I wanted to go to IIM Ahmedabad. That was my dream. I wanted to do these two things. So when I became, uh, when I did my examination, I had enough marks to be an engineer. Unfortunately, by the time my results came out in Nagpur, my college in, in Madras or Chennai, they, they said, sorry, we can't take you this year. You'll have to go next year. So then I went to all the colleges in Madras and said, can you give me, can you give me a seat in your some admission in whatever subject that you have. They said, take Sanskrit, take this, that. Ultimately, there was one professor who said, why didn't you take mathematics? Uh, how many of you like mathematics? I don't know. But I, I, I didn't like mathematics. Neither I didn't either. like mathematics. So um, did I do well in mathematics? I can tell you I was the best outgoing student of that college. And uh, so the point is, I really worked on mathematics. I worked really very hard. 
not a subject that i really liked but i worked very hard because if you don't get what you like you like what you get so it doesn't matter what you get it doesn't matter what you take anything that you take you must do it so exceedingly well that you'll be recognized for it after some time you'll develop that taste now you never know how your life is taking you and what uh, what is the route that you're going to take but if your central approach to all this is i am going to be the best in all that i do then neeraj you will be a super achiever great thank you uh, anish you have some questions yes i indeed have one uh, first of all thank you so much sir for your you know life inspirational incident that you have shared with us so one of those question that we have recently been you know while we were looking for jobs and everything in my in our field one of those question that uh, hr regularly asks is like where do you want to see yourself in 5 years like i'm pretty sure most of us must have heard this to uh, heard this <laughs> question what do you actually expect, like being on the other side of the table what is that one thing that you expect out from us yes. okay to answer that question first of all i don't ask that question because uh, yeah, even i don't know what happens in 5 years yeah koi nahi janta but the one thing that people are expecting with that answer is um i would have liked to have learned a lot don't talk about positions that you want to reach i want to learn a lot about my subject i want to grow in the subject area that i i profess to learn and the third one is i want to contribute enough to the organization that it sees it it sees me as a person befitting some additional responsibility this is all that is required they want to know whether you are a person who are a, who is a giver or you are a taker who do you want to have on your team do you want somebody who gives you or takes <laughs> no answer no. very simple now we like people who are givers right. not people who are givers when i say I don't give you problems huh so <laughs> so we want people who contribute not people who are takers ah, i need this i need that i need more money i need this i need a working desk which is like uh, next only to the chairman no we we need people who are the quintessential givers so these are questions will get you to think they want to see when organizations look at questioning when you're going to interviews and maybe there's a broader questions anish so let me well on that they're looking at three things they look at the way that you think they look at the way that they um uh that the way that you do things the way you think the way that you do and the third one the way you are what kind of a person are you and those are the nuanced questions that people will ask if you are able to convince people that you are a guy who takes the initiative regardless of your communication skills communication skills ko koi dekhta bhi nahi hai in in today's age when let's say um if you are if you are in the field of law nobody is going to be uh, worried about whether you know the queen's english they will know whether you know the point of law can you interpret that point of law well are you able to get to that point quickly because law in legal words uh so the dipak i didn't tell you this but i did a three year course in law ye kahin pe maine likha bhi nahi hai i i didn't write it anywhere because they shouldn't see me as a lawyer right uh, but um in this is what people want no there is so much data that comes in you must move to all the data and come to that point very quickly and you must be able to defend yourself that is what people are looking at when they are asking you questions so how do you think how do you do and don't forget who you are so these are the basic three things that um companies look for in people are you a curious person are you a learner 
आई यू अ पर्सन हु गिव कॉन्फिडेंस कि हाँ बेटा इनको लेने से देर इज समथिंग विच इज गोइंग टू बी एडेड टू माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज नॉट I'm going to make my organization bigger, better because of the onset of this kind of talent. Okay. Thank you, Anish. Thank you, sir. Thanks, uh, Parth. You have some questions? Anyway, yeah. I also have. Okay, Parth, you go ahead. Then I have a couple of questions of my own. <laughs> Surely. So we have some questions coming in from YouTube. so uh, one of the questions is how do we always back ourselves uh parthi la to repeat yourself how do we always back ourselves back yeah back meaning aap thoda sa explain karo usko it's like saying fall back option ke liye is that what you are yeah I, i think so so yeah okay so somebody wants to know about a fall back option in case your main line of whatever you are choosing does not work should you have a fall back option i guess <laughs> okay so first of all try not to have a fall back option that's the first thing because the moment you say i'm going to have a fall back option then you will start to focus more on the fall back then you're not giving it your best having said that part i'll tell you this uh whatever that i wanted in my life i did not get i wanted to be an engineer i could not get to engineering i wanted to go to iim amdabad i could not go of course i could have written that examination the next year but i did not because i got into xlri which was a uh, equally in the in the field of uh, industrial relations and personal management on hr it's it's one of the finest so i, I did i get what i want no but i said i'll make the best of what i have i think the whole thing is about whatever that you get as a fall back can you make the best of it if the answer is yes i will do my best to make the best of it then you would have succeeded if you again start to keep looking at is there something else and something else that i can do that's what you'll do life long anything that you can get it do really well just move on and you will find you will get a lot more interested in that so sometimes one of the one of the things that when i was a lot younger and i was doing law the subject that i i hated in law was a subject that i had to do as as one of the main things in my life which is labor law <laughs> labor law you know this is such a headache but uh, today if i look at my id act if i look at uh, contract labor regulation act you name any section there i will tell you that this is how it is done this that but you start to develop an interest so don't look at a an option is a plan b plan b will come to you if plan a does not work and it will always happen not because you chose it but because in a way that you and i are designed there's always something that will come to you as plan b but if you have a plan b that you are making as part of your plans that's when you could fail sure <laughs> no these are these are excellent thoughts that uh, you know there's so much of learning from the answers itself that um, understanding that we haven't got what we wanted and still being happy with it and i think that is i think really i think it you know changes perspective there are couple of questions which a lot of youngsters have been asking uh, and then not and then it is also to do with obviously the large volumes of you know companies are you know large corporates they have their own you know fixed way of doing things many students feel and many not just students but even once they get into the corporate sector that we apply and we fail in an interview when they say fail meaning we did not get selected and many a times in their minds they just do not understand why they have in their Fail. mind they have failed it's not not being selected maybe there were two positions but i remember i used to work with american express and there were 50000 people applied and there were like three vacancies and you know whatever happens uh, but but the others how you know what is your take how would you explain to young minds that 
you know that this is reality and sometimes they do not get feedback and it's not possible for corporates to give each and every person a reason as to why they have not been selected so how how would you kind of uh, talk to somebody who's going through this see uh, corporates don't always respond to any person because they neither have the time or the inclination to tell a person why they are not choosing that person sometimes um there is this word in in sanskrit which is called mukha rasi which means they don't like your face or they like your face it all depends on the person on the other side mukham means face rasi means luck so it is a luck i mean sometimes you you never know however behind every question there is always a meaning and we think that people have we have responded very well on the other side people will start to think hey i don't think this person has responded very well so people don't you don't really have to fail in organizations in fact the way to look at it is if some organization has not chosen you when you walk out and you don't get a response instead of the organization saying that we have rejected you you look back at the organization and say i have rejected this organization the moment you start to do that and you may reject a number of organizations does not matter ultimately there is a there is an organization that is meant for you and you will find that organization because it it just matches with the person that you are and if you get that kind of an organization feel very happy and you will know that you will start to do exceedingly well in your life i remember there was a there was a there was a chartered accountant friend of mine and uh, he just could not get a suitable job just could not get he went to many multinationals and every time they went he went he could not speak good english when you are a chartered accountant they don't care about your english very much like uh, you know unless it's about legal drafting and all that where you have to look at and aajkal ke drafts mein there are some standard drafts all you have to do is fill those lines that's it today drafting True. has become a lot more easier you say this is what i have this is what i want today there is a computer which does everything you 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 need to know how to use this anyway back to the boy he did not get a job anywhere ultimately he went and joined not a second but a third or he went to a fourth rung organization today he is a cfo of one of the largest organizations in india does he speak great english he still does not speak the great english but he is very well respected he is very well respected why because he has a command over the subject so if you can all get to be the masters of your craft people will respect you that's all that is needed right so to we have we have so many young coders we have engineers we have people who are you know they are really as you said good at what they do and that is the core competence and also they have the ability to learn new things i think in today's age like you mentioned for lawyers this drafting artificial intelligence intelligence is coming in yeah. and taking away so many of the traditional jobs which we have been trained for so True. i think the, uh, these are the changes and i think uh, leaders like you uh, are making the difference here in terms of uh, explaining this phenomena to young people as well who are joining in that they have, may have studied for 10 years and 5 years but those experiences may not be required anymore in future because of changing evolution and work styles and uh, so great great thank you so much Okay. anything else uh, we have already taken so much of your time uh, but we can uh, anyone else has any more questions so i'd like to take up one last question from the chat box uh there's one person who asked pranav uh, he asked that does our uh, degree or the 
college that you are coming from does that matter in our career like if a person is not from iit or iim or in law background if a person is not from nlu does that affect uh, our journey in our our career so truly we are moving away from all all of that organizations are seriously saying that we want to get to a stage where we are going to say we're going to define a job or a job role and we we don't care which university you come from maybe there will be a time when they will mask out all these degrees and you go for an interview and let the people select the best and if you are really the best because you come from the great iims the excels of the world then that should be able to reflect in the in the in the way that you conduct yourself in universities and in the interviews that you have so the day is not far when those kinds of things will start to take shape so the short answer is the world is slowly moving india it will take a little bit of time because we are still very hierarchical why do we do this i mean there was a reason for this because in india we have too much talent we are sure there is too much unless the person gets 98.99 they will not get into a, you know a medical college if they get into a medical college do 5 years of that and then they won't get into md and so on i mean this is really killing in other universities today the good sign about what is happening with covid is we are now going to have a lot of people who can apply for universities anywhere in the world and still get a different kind of an education so the democratization of education will still happen somebody saying i've got 98% reject rate will move because that does not mean anything anymore people will start to get more inclusive that is still some time away organizations today we look at it but i'll tell you what we do we still go to the iits we still go to the iims we go to all this but at a certain point in time so everybody starts the people who are given a uh, let's say who are made to st stand a little ahead of the of the place that everybody starts from are the people from let's say these colleges in terms of compensation and so on the race then starts then people go one round two rounds three rounds after some time then everybody starts from the same line again and that will happen after 3 years after 3 years after a, after a certain time when people are promoted everybody comes on to the same baseline and then you start running again then you say may the best person win so that there are different ways that organizations start to do it it will start to still be important in the beginning but in the larger race of life which is almost like a marathon it doesn't matter who is in front of you because you could overtake that person it doesn't matter who is behind you it does not mean that you are somebody you are in front of somebody you're going to win the race what is more important is you are going to run the race and at some stage know that you will win the race all you have to do is keep running that's all that matters thank you thank you so much this is really really good words of wisdom i would say so i think for the time being i think we we have we have uh, bored run out of time run out of time but it is so nice of you to have engaged live with uh, uh, there are so many hundreds and thousands of students who are who have been watching online and we will really request this is a great opportunity which all of them got and in the i know your time is limited and you have so many things happening but we will request if you can you know maybe three four weeks from now maybe half an hour an hour again if you and if you could you know i'm just trying to build up a little movement here of people who you know developing more mentors i i mentor about 300 uh, students but you know more than that is impossible but i think if we can garner more like minded people and because of technology because of social media it may not be one on one 
and it's like yeah. all i think it would require is maybe one hour or two hours a month if 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 and i think when we we at our uh, age and our generation i think can make a little difference so uh, thank you so much for your support uh, nathan and i i hope if you can also bring in couple of more of your friends who are you know similar space and if they can come in it'll be it'll be a great help to everyone thank you so much thank you yashvi thank you neeraj shubha anish parth and i may have forgotten a few other names and thank you so much deepak for giving me this opportunity been lovely being with all of you thank you so much and have a good evening bye bye thank you yes. thank you so much uh, nathan appreciate bye. it take care bye bye thank you thanks okay thank you so much everyone uh, shubha yashvi neeraj parth anish it was really nice that everybody could join in and uh, we will discuss offline and have many many more sessions and i hope you found all these really useful on behalf of society for legal reforms and uh, um education i also want to say that more programs are being designed more workshops one on one sessions we have more short term programs coming in many more senior people from the corporate sector from law firms from uh, again uh, hr ceos will be joining us in future so stay connected with us uh, please uh, make sure that you are watching the videos social media linkedin connect with us as much as possible and uh, spread the message across in your colleges and as many people can join in it's more of a movement and thank you so much for your support thank you so much and all the best and stay safe